the Joe Rogan experience. And so he just goes along yeah. with all the woke nonsense because he doesn't want to fight that wing of his party. He can't afford to have a battle on the left. Yeah. So that's my big issue with him. I know you have others. Well, my, my biggest issue is he lies a lot and he's probably... Well, certainly not more than Trump. Uh, oh, please. Come well, on, Well, listen, I think they both lie. I mean, I don't like uh, but, that but, uh, more uh, than this guy. Because I want to just, if you want to talk about Trump, we could talk about Trump. But if you just talk about Biden, I don't think comparing him to Trump does anybody any good. You just look at the well, Burisma it, well, it situation. Well, it does because they're running against each yeah, other. Yeah, okay. So, so it's kind of well, necessary. It could, it could when, if you want to talk about in terms of an election, but you talk about the terms of the guy well, who's in office right now, like why don't I like him? Well, one of the things that I don't like has nothing to do with any of his choices is that he's mentally compromised. I think there's something wrong, and I think it's clear. <laughs> As if the other guy isn't. Well, okay, he speaks much clearer. Yeah. He he might be crazy. He might be a he sociopath. He is crazy. Okay. He's crazy and stupid. Say all those things, but it still doesn't <laughs> take away from the fact that B there's something wrong with Biden. Like, he makes up words. He stumbles through things. It seems he's, like he doesn't know where he is a, half he, the time. He's very, very old. That's my problem with them. Okay. Well, again, we're, we're living in a world where perfect is not on the menu. These are the choices we're going to have. This is going to be who's running next time. You're going to have, a yes, a doddering old man. Do you definitely think that Biden's going to make it to the 2024 elections? Because I'm not convinced. Well, who knows? Yeah, he might not. And so might not Trump. Right. Oh, the, both of them could die at any minute now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when you're like 70, whatever years old, 78 yeah. years old. One is 77, one is 80. Yeah, that's okay. that's basically. the end of the line. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're on E. I mean. Right? I mean, you might make it to town, but you might might die on the side of the road. You, you, yeah. You got, you're There's on also e. blue zones where people live to 100. They don't look like those guys. No, they they look better. Yeah, they're thin and active. and. Well, yeah. Biden's thin. That's true. Trump is not. But he's thin like skeletal thin. Yeah. Like he's thin, like frail, like yeah. where he looks like Look, he's just going to fall I'll, down I'll, a lot. I'll give you this point. Trump looks a lot and sounds a lot more hearty yeah. and robust yeah. and healthy. That's yeah. true. He's a, he's a city roach. He might eat the worst things he eats, the stronger he gets. You can <laughs> you cannot kill him. No, I, I, I he's agree. He's also the only guy that did noticeably age the moment he got into the no, White House. No, we did. <laughs> we aged when he was in office. He was fine. You're right. He didn't look like he aged. He just still, he always looks the same. But you, he's, a, had... but he's a, a, a criminal and he's crazy and he's stupid. And crazy and stupid are two different things. When you say crazy, what do you basically Okay, let me, let me give you an example. Okay. Stupid is like uh, Frederick Douglass is alive or uh, the stealth bomber is literally invisible. Right. Um, or nobody knew health care was hard to solve. That's just stupid. He's very stupid. Crazy is like it's important that uh, the crowd at my inauguration was the biggest ever. And I'm going to make an issue of this for the first two weeks of my presidency despite photographic evidence to the contrary. Mm. Or I'm going to steal these documents that I don't even know what they are and I don't care and I'm going to put them next to the toilet at Mar-a-Lago and then I'm going to fight you to take them back or not conceding the election. Those things are crazy. Or thinking I can somehow charm Kim Jong-un in Korea, although that might be stupid. Sometimes it crosses the line between both. But he's both stupid and crazy and he's a criminal. You know, he's not, he's not being charged in these trials because he's a liar. They purposely didn't do that. Apparently it's okay, it's not illegal to lie to the American people. And of course he did lie and continues to lie. He still hasn't conceded the election, which he plainly lost. He's charged with actual crimes. Criminal intent to obscure, uh, to, to, to I forget what the actual name of the uh, law is, but criminal intent to basically steal the election or to coerce people in the states from, uh, I forget what it is. And then there's, there's one uh, forgery, uh, which is, has to do with the elector's scheme, uh, criminal intent for- What for is the forgery? That's that's the slate of electors he was putting forward, the fake slate of electors. Um, and then there was um, the one of, 
Here it is. We can read it. Three counts of solicitation of violation of oath by a public officer. So he's trying to get someone to violate their oath. Two counts of yes. conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree. Two right. counts of conspiracy to commit false statements and writing. Two counts of false statements and writings. Violation of a Georgia RICO Act. Conspiracy to commit impersonating a public officer. Hmm. wonder what that is. Uh, conspiracy to commit filing false documents and filing false documents. And this is all based on the election results. Well, there's also felony solicitation of violation of oath. Felony solicitation of violation of oath by a public officer. That was what he, when he was talking to Rapsenberger, that's the, I need you to find me 11,000 votes. Mm. Uh, there's, there's also one... I mean, there's, there's, two, there's two cases about trying to steal the election. One, the, the national case that uh, Jack Smith is prosecuting, and then there's the one in Georgia. Now, they cross paths in a lot. But basically, I mean, yes, he tried every possible way to steal this election. He tried to do it through the courts. He tried to do it through state legislatures. He tried to do it through intimidating Mike Pence. He tried to do it through the Justice Department. They talked about seizing voting machines. They talked about the using the army. I mean, you can't really believe that this guy is not worse than Joe Biden. I mean, I agree. Biden is not a great president. And the Hunter Biden stuff is a stinky conspiracy, not a conspiracy, a stinky scandal that stinks to the high heavens. If you think that that in any way compares to what Trump tried to do, you just cannot tell unlike things apart. And you're, you're saying this just based on what happened after the election? Just that stuff? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the criminal part, yes. Have you ever tried to steal man his position? Like, do you think he really believes they stole the election, or do you think he's bullshitting? Who gives a fuck? It doesn't Who matter. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck if he really believes it? But, I mean, if he really believes there's evidence that the election was rigged, no, I don't care. No. First of all, that was part of the January 6th committee's findings. He has multiple people, all the people around him told him that he lost that election, including Bill Barr, mm -hmm. you know, and he admitted he, he had there's a, one of his quotes was uh, that they have on record of him saying, I don't want people to know I lost this election. That's kind of crazy. Well, it, he's crazy. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it's it's insane that you can't let go of the idea that you can't be seen as a loser. There is mm. a certain there is an he is there is a I always said this in the beginning. It all comes back to the, he is a clinical case of malignant narcissism. It's not just a quirk. Mm -hmm. It's actually in the big book of crazy. You know that. Right. Uh, I mean, it's a real thing. And. It affects everything he thinks and does. It's why foreign leaders were able to curry favor with him. All they had to do was kiss his ass and they got whatever they wanted. Do I really think that he wants to help Russia and Putin? I think Putin had him as soon as he said, Trump is a brilliant man. Good. You got me. It doesn't take that much. <laughs> uh, he's a dangerous guy. The, the idea that, that he could be president again... As opposed to Joe Biden, again, Joe Biden, not my first choice, not my hundredth choice, but the other guy is a crazy, stupid criminal.